Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Liliane Massad. I'm the head of the team Target Therapy for Neuropathy. First of all, I want to thank the organizer for giving me the opportunity uh, to present the work that we have done at the disease and hormone of the nervous system. I will talk about the introduction of a new therapeutic approach based on SIRNA to treat the Charcot-Marie-Tooth disease type 1A. Uh, first, uh, I will give some background on uh, CMT, uh, which is the most frequent inherited neuropathy. Its name is to acknowledge three scientists, two French, Charcot-Marie and one English tooth. Its frequency is one over 2,500 individual worldwide. Therefore, 3 million overworld suffer from this pathology, which is reflected by muscle weakness, depressed reflex, impaired distal sensation, hand and foot deformities, and a slowing of nerve conduction velocity. CMT can occur in childhood or adulthood, with a slow evolution and the degree of disability can range from a simple difficulty in walking to the use of the wheelchair in 10% of case. CMT is classified according to three criteria. It's inheritance mode that, were born, uh, that can be in autosomal dominant recessive or X-linked. The evaluation of nerve injury generally measured by nerve conduction velocity. And there is more than 90 gene uh, involved to Im implicate in this pathology, but the most frequent one found in patient is PMP22, responsible of the development of CMT1A that represents 60 to 70% of CMT cases. In fact, CMT1 is due to a duplication within the chromosome 17, leading to a slight of expression of PMP22 between 30 and 50%, but this slight modification uh, lead to a deterioration of myelin sheet because uh, PMP22 is known uh, to compact the region of the myelin sheet and have also other role uh, in myelination, such as adhesion and cell proliferation. Unfor unfortunately, since the discovery of CMT1A disease, there is no effective treatment to treat it. The only uh, treatment available until now are supportive care and surgical correction. So there is an urgent to develop a treatment for CMT1A disease. And we believe that SIRNA could be a good idea to normalize PMP22 gene expression. Small interfering RNA are known to be specific of one mRNA active at low concentration and can be uh, transfected into cells via lipid trans based transfection. The siRNA can bind to uh, the RNA inducing silencing complex that is, is able to separate the double strand and associate the antisense strand to its target mRNA. The result is cleavage of its corresponding mRNA. It is well known that PMP22 is tightly regulated and slight modification in PMP22 expression can provoke demyelinating disease. So our aim is not to knock down definitely the PMP22 level, but only to decrease its expression. For that, we begin uh, to find the common sequence between mouse and human mRNA of PMP22. Designed eight different SI RNA based on the methods of scoring developed by Reynolds et al. in 2004. 
and then transfected these eight SI RNA into MSC80 cells. And our result showed in vitro that one of the SI RNA has the ability to decrease of about 50% gene and protein PMP2 level in vitro, to have a long lasting effect, to no effect P0 and the cell viability. So it is a good candidate for in vivo study. But as all the molecules, the SI RNA present many hurdles due to their short plasmatic half-life and their hydrophilic character. So they need to, need to vectorize to protect them from the degradation and to increase their lipophysicity. And we decided to combine the SI RNA to a precursor of cholesterol, which is the squalene. Squalene is found in shark liver extract. Also, it's uh, found in olive oil, in human sebum, and is used uh, to deliver drugs either by emulsion or by conjugation. And we choose to couple our SI RNA to uh, squalene by Cooper Free Click Chemistry. How did we proceed? The SI RNA. Uh, is modified with this uh, sense strand by a DBCO residue, the squalene ben anazide, and in one reaction, we obtain the bioconjugate that it is hybridized with is the anti sense strand, then nanoprecipitate in water to give nanoparticle of about 190 nanometer of diameter. This chemical modification did not affect the uh, uh, SI RNA activity because as shown here, the SI RNA PMP22 squalene in its nanoparticular form is able to decrease of about 50% the PMP22 mRNA level as well as the SI RNA transfected with lipofectamine. Moreover, the cell viability was not affected. So we continue our study with these nanoparticles, and we used two models of transgenic mice, CMT1A mice model. First of all, we did functional tests by doing beam walking, locotronic, and grip strength. Also, we did electrophysiological studies. Then we injected uh, uh, via intravenous uh, injection our CMTA1 mice, either with uh, the SI RNA PMP to squalene nanoparticle or the SI control squalene nanoparticle or the vehicle zig dextrose and the wild type were used as control. We did five independent injections separate by three or four days. The cumulative dose used is 2.5 milligram per kilogram. We sacrificed the mice after doing one more time functional test. And then we uh, did some mechanistic studies uh, we uh, evaluate uh, the protein expression by Western blood in all the mice studied, in the sciatic nerve, all, all the mice studied. We also assess the myelination and the axonal process and the ultrastructure by electron microscopy, but and also by optical uh, microscopy to see the G ratio and the fiber density. I will not have time to develop all the results uh, that we obtained, but I will show some of them. Uh, this is uh, the wild type mice uh, that is able to cross the bar from point A to point B, and it takes about 10 seconds to cross the bar. 
look at the uh, now CMT1A mouse, this mouse is able to cross the bar in 25 seconds with a lot of stop and fold. And this is the same mouse after treatment, as you see here, it can go to the bar and uh, until uh, nine minutes, it can um, be in the point B as well as the wild type mice. The locotronic test confirmed the B morphine test. Moreover, there is a gain of force because we normalized uh, the uh, grip strength in the four limbs and in the total limbs. And by doing Western blood analysis on six independent sciatic nerve provided for from uh, treated mice with dextrose with uh, the SI control and uh, the SI squalene on uh, its uh, nanoparticle form, we found a normalization of the PMP22 protein levels. And here, a spectacular result that we obtained here in two uh, uh, paraplegic mice. Uh, please see how this mouse can go and cannot use its hind limb and crow. And this is the same mouse after treatment. You see it can go in uh, easily and can walk easily. And you will see at the end of this video, it can stay on its hind limb. So, also, we did a lot of other study, but I will show only the study concerning the electron microscopy. Please see here the sciatic nerve of the myelin sheet of Charcot-Marie-Tous 1A neuropathy before treatment. And this is after treatment. And as you see, there is a compaction of myelin sheets. Moreover, we found that our nanoparticles are inside the sciatic nerve and specifically inside uh, the Schwann cells. Please see here the nucleus of a Schwann cell, the cytoplasm, and this is the vesicle representing the nanoparticle. Um, and compare these nanoparticles to the wild type and the a uh, mouse treated with the SR, uh, with the dextrose compared to the mouse treated with the SI control squalinized and the mouse treated with the SI PMP22 squalene nanoparticles. So to recapitulate, uh, we uh, drastically ameliorate the disease phenotype, restore the electrophysiological activity of motor and sensory nerve, normalize the PMP22 level, improve myelination and axonal regeneration. Moreover, we showed an effect from 1.5 milligram per kilogram. Our treatment lasts three weeks for the severe form and 10 weeks for the mild form of CMT1A. And we believe that it is an active targeting because we found that our SI RNA are localized in the Schwann cells. So uh, here we showed the proof of concept that the treatment can be done using SI RNA. Our results are patent and also published. And if you want to see more results about uh, our study, please, uh, refer to communication biology published in Mars. Thank you very much for your attention.